Okay. Michigan week. Everybody in the state chooses up, and uh, so it, it, uh, there's a lot of passion in this game. It's great to be a Michigan Wolverine. great to be a Michigan Wolverine. Big challenge. Big challenge. They're, they're a great group. You know it's going to be fun as a player. You know it's going to be fun as a coach. One team is going to win. One team is going to lose. Good afternoon, everybody, from Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor. Better than 110,000 will watch today. How many folks we have here from Michigan State? Have we anything? No, nobody here yet? I didn't think you guys were going to show up so much. Fight, fight, run, team, fight. Victory for MSU. Michigan and Michigan State meeting for the 99th time today. It's great to be a Michigan Wolverine. It's great. To be a Michigan Wolverine. Go green, go go green, go Great to have you with us on a perfect afternoon for football. This is a rival game. They they don't like us. We don't like them. It's just it's gonna be some hard hitting. It's one of the biggest games of the season for each team. Um, it's bragging rights. Whoever for whoever wins. It's just like the game everybody just wait for on Saturdays. I mean, you just something inside. The feeling is just wonderful. Can the underdogs win today here in Ann Arbor? Everybody's going to be jacked up because it's Michigan State and it's, you know, it's Paul Bunyan Trophy, you know, ugliest trophy in college football. Well, I always give it a big hug when I introduce it to the team. And I love Paul Bunyan and he's got a nice, you know, he's, I think we treat him a lot better here. Because uh, when he comes back, he's always so excited uh, to get back here. So we'll do our best to keep him here. It's our last shot against Michigan. We want it very badly because you know, we ask each other who here has beaten Michigan, and nobody here can raise their hands except you know, a few coaches, you know, the, the very select. It's going to feel good. You know, I haven't lost, lost to the Michigan State since I've been in, so it would it, be nice just to go out 5-0 against Michigan State. This is Spartan's house, baby. Let's go. It's really intense. Um, a lot so more in other games. Just because you're playing a team, you know, that's only an hour down the road. And, you know, that's in the same conference as you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You can take your records, what you did in the past, everything, and just throw it out the window. and and just play that one game, and it's just high intensity and uh, just a great game all around. You know everybody you're going against. You don't have to look at the scattering report. You know where everybody plays. You know what they do. Let's go. Let's baby. Let's go. It's a lot of fun, uh, a lot of trash talking going on. Um, you play against guys that you play against in high school and who you grew up with. Um, it's just the most exciting thing. Oh, 
Good The biggest threat is their quarterback, uh, Drew Stanton. He's a great athlete. He's a he's the heart and soul of their entire team. When you talk about uh, Drew, you're talking about a guy that's a great athlete and it can beat you with uh, his arm as well as his feet. I think I'd be lying if I said I didn't have unfinished business against Michigan. You know, it's definitely because I haven't ever beat him. That's one thing that, that uh, I definitely want on my resume by the time I'm done here and there's only one more chance. It's a beautiful day for football. Ready to go. Big game right here. Hey, Dan, hey, look at your eye. Hey, man. Hey, 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 down and playing in an adverse, uh, you know, stadium it is that much more fun going down into Michigan Stadium and all the hype with that, it, you know, I think it's something that we enjoy doing. real important to keep the streak going, you know, because, uh, like I said, we don't like losing at all. We don't like losing at all, but definitely not at home. You know, it's a, it's a heartbreaking feeling, you know, watching another team celebrate on your own field. The Wolverines gathered in that eastern tunnel, and here they come underneath that M Club banner at midfield for the backyard brawl against Michigan State. In my judgment, the key to the game, the team that runs the ball most effectively will have a leg up in getting the victory. Michael Hart's a great running back. He runs low to the ground. Uh, he's always going forward. Uh, the key to stopping him is to, to stop him before he gets kind of his, makes his cut, make, gets going. Mike Hart is a consummate uh, player because uh, he's smart, he's tough, and he's a great competitor. He wants to win. He's willing to do anything to help his team win. And um, he's an emotional player, uh, and he brings a fire uh, to practice. He brings a fire to the game. And uh, he's the kind of guy you love having on his side because you know he's going to bring it. I told him that he stole you know, two st uh, high school state championships from me back in high school, you know, so this time it's personal. We were both good backs in high school, and then we came here to Michigan State, Michigan, so it's just fun. You know, um, it's fun we get to play each other, just see who's going to have a better game. And they all got the best of them every time we play so far, so, you know, it's uh, exciting. And well, I'll tell you one thing, Michigan Stadium is alive this afternoon with a backyard brawl. Just a tough place to play. Their band members are right behind you, you know, talking to you and talking junk and whatever, you know, so it's it's a very tough place to play. You know, we never want to lose at home. You know, that's, that's one of our biggest things, and you know, uh, especially to Michigan State. The captains are heading out toward the center of the field. Short in the air, let it drop. What are you gonna call? Tails. Tails is called. Bruce Netton called Tails. It's a hit. Michigan, Michigan wins the toss. There's one to talk. They have elected. Who knows why we haven't won down there since 1990, but uh, you know it's something that we're hoping that we can change this year. What's the score going to be? Uh, it's going to be Michigan, Michigan wins, uh, Michigan State loses. Frank Beckman here along with Jim Brandstetter. It's Michigan State and Michigan here to bring it to you. The voice of the Spartans, George Blaha. And we're just about ready for the kickoff. Jamon Williams deep for the Spartans. Garrett Rivas to kick it off. And we're underway in the backyard brawl. The kick deep, end over end toward the far side. It's caught about a yard deep in the end zone by Damon Williams. He's going to be brought down by Johnny Sears at the eight or nine yard line. We got off to a tremendously slow start. We just uh, hurt ourselves, number one, with the, the opening kickoff. You know, we never should have brought that out. Uh, he's been instructed to keep it in the end zone, but he had to kind of go back and he caught it in bounds and then ran it into the end zone. His momentum took him into the 
into the end zone. And uh, in that situation, it's the other guy's responsibility to make sure we keep him in. So that, that was the start, but that uh, definitely wasn't the end of it. Triple receivers and a stack to the right for Drew Stanton with J.U. behind him. Drew takes the snap. Hands to J.U. Breaks one tackle, now another, plows his way off left tackle to the 15-yard line. Second down, four at their 15. Shotgun snap to Drew. Quick throw right side to Kerry Reed. Makes the grab, but he is grabbed and thrown down by middle linebacker David Harris after about a one-yard pickup to the 16. Third down, three for the Spartans. You know, I'm responsible for the offense and trying to get them to play. And uh, it took us a while to get going. And, uh, you know, against those guys that, uh, that have a real good defense, then obviously that offense, they can, uh, you know, chew up some yards and do some good things on the ground with the different running backs they have. Um, you know, they present some problems. Drew has five wideouts, including tight end Dwayne Holmes, who's set left. Takes the shotgun snap, guns it right side. It is caught at the 19 by Jeremy Scott. Now they're going to rule trap, and it's incomplete. That would have been a first down. And Michigan State faces fourth and three and will have to punt from its own 16-yard line. And Michigan will start on its own 40 after the opening punt by MSU. Single setback, that's Mike Hart, gets a handoff, running short side left. They seal the side, Mike up to midfield, stiff arms a man into MSU territory and is knocked out of bounds by Devon Williams down at the Michigan State 44-yard line. You just get up for these kind of games. It's exciting, you know, you know, good players, you know, great players play great in these games. And uh, so I just try to come out here and do it every time we play a team like that. Olivo's well, on a wing left in this balanced line. He goes in motion right. Hart the only setback, and Henny's gonna throw quickly breasted left side, makes a move down to the 30, down to the 26-yard line, and he's tackled by Otis Wiley, the free safety. It'll be a first down for the Wolverines. They cross them up, three wide for the Wolverines. Here comes Breston in motion to the left, the short side, handoff Hart running left, cuts up field, he's hit by Heron, bounces off, cuts to his right to the 25, down to the 20. Boy, he had been trapped for a loss, and Mike Hart somehow turned that into a five-yard gain with second effort. 10-0-1 to go first quarter. No score. Michigan on the march after receiving the punt at the 40-yard line. And we got another flag. And once again, Michigan State jumped early. Henny comes up under center, stands up to change the play, and three times they jump. Offside, number 92, defense, main contact. And this Five time. penalty, still first down. I mean, it's normal for a center like, you know, flinch his head, but to get under center and then come back out, you know, you don't see that too often. You know, I, I know our quarterback coach, Coach Enos, doesn't teach our quarterbacks to do it. We thought it was illegal. You know, we thought you couldn't do it, but, you know, but, you know, that's, that's not an excuse. That those two plays did not determine the outcome of the game. Second down and two, tight end Massey moves over left, handoff Hart running left. He runs underneath the tackle of Otis Wiley and burrows his way down to the three. Six carries, 32 yards for Mike Hart. Here he comes again, left side, turning the corner to the goal line, touchdown Michigan! Mike Hart, the Big Ten's leading rusher, goes in for the score, his sixth touchdown of the year. But there's a flag on the play. Haley, number 54, offense. 10-yard penalty, previous spot, repeat, first down. Henny bringing Arrington in motion, drops the throw, and he is hit as he throws, and that ball is loose. That's a fumble, a live football. It is scooped up by Travis Key, and the Spartans will take over at the 30-yard line. After further review, there is indisputable many evidence that the passer's arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Michigan on the MSU 13th. Preston on a wing left going in motion to the wide side right. Hart in the backfield. Henny to throw. This time Hart picks up the blitz. Henny in the end zone. Arrington up in the air. He has got it. Touchdown. Michigan. What an acrobatic catch by Adrian Arrington. The sophomore out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. That ball looked like it was going to be thrown out of the field of play. And Arrington 
went up and snared it with both hands and somehow got a foot down to score. Garrett Rebus for the point after. And the kick on the way is good. There's a flag. Man, they ran into Rebus. Just getting off to a fast start uh, was the key because uh, we knew they were going to stick around and uh, play their hardest because they had speed on defense and uh, they definitely played well on defense. So we had to take advantage of uh, field position and uh, when we got the ball. So Michigan goes 60 yards in 10 plays. 8.51 to go first quarter. Michigan 7, Michigan State nothing. Who brings the Spartans out, and he's got Dwayne Holmes at up back, and Jeremy Scott at running back. They toss sweep it to the right and pick up two to the 22. Prescott Burgess on the stop for Michigan. Now it's a shotgun formation on second and eight for the Spartans. Right hash at their 22. Jay to Drew's left. He'll take the snap, roll left, throw that way. Caught by Trennan. Matt Trennan has a first down. He's out of bounds on the far left sideline at the 31. Pushed out by Morgan Trent. Second and eight. Spartans at their 34. Drew under center. Play fakes. He'll have to keep it. Runs to his left. Dwayne home for the good block. And Drew dives outside the 40. Down he goes at about the 43. That should be a first down and change. Ryan Mundy knocked him down. Three stacked receivers to the right. Carey Reed in front. Jeremy Scott in the middle. Matt Trennan in the back. Quick throw right side to Matt. Lost the pass. And it is ruled incomplete. Second down 10. Spartans at their 43. Devin Thomas checks in at a wide out. He and Terry Love to the right. T.J. Williams, the explosive one, short side left. Drew with Kulkrick to his right in the shotgun. Middle screen to Dwayne Holmes, and he drops the pass. It's frustrating, but you know they're out there trying their hardest. And, uh, you know, I'm, you know, there comes a certain point in time where you, you want to go out there and yell at them, and, you know, I have in the past, but, you know, I found that it doesn't do any good. You know, you have to move on and try and encourage those guys, especially the young guys, to go out there and make plays. Stanton is in the shotgun. Got four receivers wide, going to throw. Five-man rush with a blitz, and down he goes. Back on the 37. Oh, big, big pressure from Burgess and from Branch. You know, I just try to make plays, you know, and, and, and get the defense up. You know, once, once you make big plays, you know, it, it's easy to play even harder, you know. Uh, so I was just trying to get our defense riled up and, and let's go. We go out here and uh, do a good job against the run, and that kind of forced teams to pass. And uh, so far this year, um, our, pass, our, our pass rush has been pretty good, so we try to get teams to, to pass a little more. There's a passion for this game. Here we go, first down Michigan at the 20-yard line. They've got Manningham right, Breston left, two tight ends, Massey and Butler left, and flags fly as the handoff goes to Mike Hart. Somebody moved early. Start number 73, offense. And that would be Alex Mitchell, the right guard. Still first down. Third down, six to go from the 35. Henning drops into the hole, looking right, looking right. Dumps it off short in the flat to Preston. He's got it. Makes a move to get the first down around one man. Out over the 45 to the 46. Otis Wiley on the tackle. What a move he put on DeMond Williams over on the sideline. And he got a third down conversion for his Wolverines at a first down. And he gets the snap, drops the throw, blitz coming, good protection, going deep for Arrington, outrunning the secondary, and the ball hit the defender, Sir Darian Adams, in the helmet and bounces incomplete. There's a draw play to Hart, Hart ran into Olivo, and down he goes on third down and three, they're gonna lose the yard. Otis Wiley, the blitzing free safety stopped him. Putting this one away to start the second quarter. Breston back on his 41. Michigan only rushes six, setting up a return. A low line drive kick, a good one. Breston way back to his own 26. Circles left, now heads up field. 30, 35, right sideline 40, 45. He eludes Fields and is knocked out of bounds at the 47. Here we go, Power eye. 
Handoff Hart going left, cut back move through a space over the 50 and into Spartan territory, all the way down to the 40-40, might have a first down. MSU doing a lot of jumping around up front, and he turns, hands it Hart running left. Caleb Thornhill's there to slow him down, and David Heron's there to knock him down. Kevin Grady in a tailback. Penny to throw on second and eight. Deep for Manny, have right side, breaking open, reaches up, perfect throw, over the shoulder, touchdown Michigan! Super Mario strikes again! <laughs> 54 yards in three plays for the Wolverines, 41 yards, heading to Manningham, it's 14 to nothing Michigan. Spartans at their 25 at the left hash. Here's an important drive. Drew under center with J.U. behind him. The snap from Cook. The play fake to J.U. Drew rolls to his right. Fires. Comeback catch made by Jeremy Scott at the 41. Jamar Adams on the stop. And they'll move the chains. A 16-yard pickup. He's by himself in the shotgun. First and 10 at his 41. Feels some heat, steps up over the middle, fires, caution pattern catch made by Trennan. Matt Trennan is into Michigan territory, and down he goes at the 37-yard line of the Wolverines. They played hard. They're a good defensive front. I mean, when it comes to us on offense, um, you know, we, we started to move the ball pretty well, you know, uh, in the second quarter, you know, later in the first half, and then in the second half. First and 10, Spartans at the 24 of Michigan. Now they're at the right hash. Drew in the shotgun with J.U., and we've got some movement, I believe, up on the offensive line. We'll start number 66, offense. Five-year penalty, still first down. First and 15 at the Michigan 29. Shotgun snap to Drew, rolls left, throws that way, incomplete for Trennan. A flag in the backfield at the 20-yard line went Trennan, but the pass incomplete. And we got a hold against the Spartan. 11 and 15 to play in the half, 14-0 Michigan. T.J. Williams and Kerry Reed set to the right. Holmes tight right. Jeremy Scott on the wing, Drew in the shotgun with Jay. Rolls to his right, pumps, now winds up, throws. It is in and out of the hands of T.J. Williams inside the five. Morgan Trent on the coverage. Now it's third and 23. Ball at the 37 of Michigan. 14 nothing Wolverine. Three wide outs for Drew. J.U. to his left in the shotgun. Takes the snap, feels the heat, unloads over the middle. Caught by Matt Trennan. Trennan with a grab. Matt's inside the 20, down at the 16-yard line. It'll be fourth down and two. And you got to get something here, and the Spartans will try to do just that. Brett Swenson will come on to try the field goal. 33-yard try for Swenson. It's on the way. He missed it. Wide left for Swenson. Barton put Bobby Jones in at a tackle, along with David Stanton, and David Stanton jumps offside before Michigan can snap the ball. Offside, number 17, defense, main contact, five-yard penalty, remains first down. Kids were wanting to play, and they're, they're wanting to give you everything that they can. And sometimes it were by wanting to give maybe too much, we, we made a mistake or two, and, uh, and it hurt us. High formation with Obi Olibo and Hart. Hart coming right, finds a hole over the 30, 35, up to the 40. He outran Manningham, who was looking for a man to block, and then Wiley put a shoulder into him and knocked him out of bounds, but not before Mike Hart got to the Michigan 47. 21 yards and a first down. Everyone gets fired up for this game, so it's not just me. And my line does a better job blocking, I guess you can say, so I do a better job running. Third down and seven. Manningham splits wide left now. Along with 
Arrington, Preston Wright, Penny to throw with time, crossing route to Preston at the 45, looks upfield, sees two defenders, says, I gotta go. Runs forward for a first down to the 40 yard line. Turner Booth will snap it. And the Spartans with everybody up front to try to block it. Here's the snap by Booth, the good one, placed down, the kick on the way. It's high enough, long enough, it's good, and there's a flag down. They run into him again? Yes, they did. Henny up under center, brings Arrington in motion, right, he's gonna throw for it. Left side, Manningham up in the air, knocked out of his hands on a great play by DeMond Williams. Give the 5-9 corner credit. He was beaten by Manningham, but he fought and clawed, and he knocked it away. Now Rebus, who had a field goal a moment ago, and they took the penalty instead, will try one from 24. This one is partially blocked, but it gets up and through just over the crossbar. Oh, wow. The free safety who got his hand up and got a piece of the ball, but he got through. And Michigan will take a 17 to nothing lead for the locker room. We knew even in, in the locker room at halftime, we came in and we said, you know, hey, we shot ourselves in the foot. We stopped ourselves. Because, you know, there was nothing really that we hadn't seen that we weren't coached to do in the first half, but we just didn't execute as players. Seventeen to nothing, Michigan. They've got the edge in about every category you can imagine. Michigan State has uh, one area where they lead Jim, and they don't want to. Eight penalties, 62 yards. MSU will kick it off to the Wolverines to begin the second half. Steve Preston and Carl Tab are deep for Michigan at the goal line to our left. Molesky, a left footer. Will line drive this one, it bounces to Preston at the seven. He picks it up like a shortstop. Heads the other way to the 20, and he ran right smack dab into Obi Olivo, who was turned around to block, and Olivo drilled Preston and knocked him down. Second down and eight. Hart gets the handoff going left. He breaks through the line to a big hole, makes a man miss with a neat cut to his right, and he's over the 40. Urban Baldwin, the defensive lineman, finally came back upfield to make the tackle, along with the safety, Otis Wiley, and that's a first down. Sometimes we're in a miscommunication, um, different, different uh, bad position, but um, some on my part, missed tackles on my part, made, it, made up the big play, so I have to take upon myself to, to get, it, get the job done next week. Henny under center on third and eight. As Hart behind him, three receivers split wide, Henny's gonna throw. Blitz coming, they pick it up, and he firing near side, oh. Manningham dropped it. And there's a flag thrown as Manningham was hit after the play by Nehemiah Warwick. 15-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Here's Kevin Grady getting the call on first down, right up the middle through a hole down to the 35, quick six yards. Kevin Grady had some good runs in there today and uh, ran awfully hard. That was a physical, they were packed down in there pretty good. Second down and four from the 35. Henny turns, gives to Grady going left. Looks for a seam, finds one now, cut back to the right. Oh, and a great open field tackle by Travis Key to prevent Grady from going the route. And the Wolverines with a first down, they'll put it on the 27. And he's going to throw. He's firing at a post cut. Ball is deflected and caught in the end zone by Mario Manningham for a Michigan touchdown. Demond Williams, the corner, jumped in front of Manningham, got a hand on the ball, but it deflected right to Mario behind him in the end zone. It's tough, you know. Just got to swallow it. Got to swallow it and get back up there. And, you know, I, I said to myself, you know, I even gave myself a little chuckle because. Um, it was tough, man. I, I felt like I had great coverage on the guy, you know, and like you said, I broke, broke on the ball and it didn't go my way. So, I mean, 
Hey, yeah, it's nothing I can do about that, but get ready to line up against him again. The defender made a great play. I mean, uh, Mario created separation off his cut, and uh, I, th I thought I threw the ball pretty well, and he just made a great play. And um, if things happen like that, uh, we'll take him. We have 11 and 22 to play in the third. The Spartans will get it back. And will they get some decent field position? Here's Garrett Rivas to kick it off. Back deep to Mond Williams. He moves left to take this kick to four. Up the numbers, 10, 15, a little hole, it closes up. And he gets over the 22, 23 yard line. Jeremy Scott, Kerry Reed to the right, who starts that way. Play fakes to J.U., winds up and throws. Right sideline for Jeremy Scott. Heck of a catch. Fine throw, and Jeremy Scott makes the grab. Down he goes inside the 40 of Michigan. Jamar Adams on the coverage. They'll put it down at the Michigan Wolverines 38-yard line. A 40-yard play. Drew Stanton to Jeremy Scott. Drew kept us in, and then we finally started playing catch a little bit. We didn't play much catch early. We, we dropped some balls and uh, started to execute a little better in the second half and uh, got back into it a little bit. Brandon Love and Reed, wide side left. Jimerson in the shotgun with Drew. Here's the snap. Feeling a little pressure, steps back, fires, and it is caught falling down by Terry Love, close to a first down. I think he's about a half a yard short, just outside the 28-yard line of Michigan. How the ribs, Drew? Um, no, they're fine. Uh, I uh, they didn't hamper me at all today. You know, it felt fine going out there and playing, so uh, it wasn't even an issue. Uh, I mean, we just knew that, you know, you know, coming in the game that he was hurt and he probably wouldn't try to run as much, you know, because he wanted to play the whole game, you know. So I felt like he, we, we knew he was going to kind of like stand in the backfield and, and pass and um, hand it off a little more, you know, and uh, I don't think they ran the option at the end of the day, you know, so he wasn't even trying to take any hits at all. Fourth down and six for the Spartans. Just outside the 34 of Michigan. Colquitt with Drew in the shotgun. Winds up and throws it left side. It is caught by Kerry Reed. Out of bounds goes Kerry Reed inside the 15 yard line. We know a lot of people out here doubt us. We know a lot of people, you know, probably going into halftime, cutting out the second half, doubt us. But we had confidence in ourselves and in the rest of the team. So I think that was one of the biggest things that, you know, we could still move the ball. Drew in the shotgun, hands to J.U., carries the mail. J.U. Kulkrick straight ahead, J.U. to about the eight. Third and about six, just inside the 11. There at the left hash still, Trennan and Kerry Reed go to the right. Two tight ends left, J.U. to the left of Drew now in the shotgun. Here's the snap from Kyle Cook. Drew has time to plant his feet. Nobody to throw it to, he'll run to his left. He's inside the five, gang tackled down. Very close to a first down. I think he has it at the three. He had to get to the four. Drew's under center with J.U. behind him. Third and goal at the one foot line. The handoff to J.U. He's into the end zone. He's dragging Wolverines. Touchdown, MSU. It was a hard fought touchdown, you know, because, you know, they were up there, you know, they were playing very physical, and, you know, we just, it, it was just a tough touchdown. Brett Swenson needs to drive this between the uprights, and he does. He drills it. First down, Michigan. Chad Henney up under center, Mark Beal. Turns, gives Mike Hart right side, big running room, 25 30. Puts the shoulder down into DeMond Williams over the 35 to the 36 yard line. And with that run, Mike Hart is now the eighth leading rusher all time at the University of Michigan. Typical Mike Hart uh, game. I mean, Mike Hart is going to bleed you. I mean, at least that's what he's done since he's been here because he's going to turn a one or two yard gain into four or five and he's gonna turn a five or six yarder into 10. I just, you know, do what they give me. If, uh, if I have to run something over, I'm gonna run him over. If I have to make a miss, I'll make a miss. It just depends how he's playing. Three wide receivers for the Wolverines. 
And they're going to run short side with Grady this time. With a first, he eludes Subban and then is tripped up by Heron as he crosses the 45 out to the 49. Down goes Grady, first down. To be able to, to, to play in this kind of a game, I mean, I mean, I'm just, I, I, I love it so much. I mean, I'm glad I was, being, was able to help be a part of it. Second and nine coming up. Handoff Grady going left through a hole down to the 45, down to the 40, tripped up from behind. I think you're seeing the, the effect of Michigan's running game to the first three quarters now on the Spartan front. Lined up eight yards behind the line of scrimmage. First down, here's Miner, right side with a burst. Two to the 30, breaks to his left. He's off to the races. 20, 15, 10, 5. It is a touchdown. Michigan, Brandon Miner, the freshman, 40 yards. I was happy for him. As soon as, um, as, soon as I saw him break the line and uh, cut back, I knew he was gone because you're not going to catch Brandon. So uh, when I saw him cut back a little bit, I knew he was going to score. He's done that uh, a number of times this fall uh, in our practices and our scrimmages, and um, he's um, he's going to be a very good football player. He's going to be a great player. Um, he has the speed and definitely the power. He's a, he's a big back, and uh, I mean, I, as soon as I saw him break free, I knew nobody was going to catch him because of his speed. The extra point attempt is on the way by Garrett Rivas. It is good. Fourth quarter coming up. Michigan leading the backyard brawl by a score of 31 to 7. And they have it third and one at their 41 as we start the fourth. Action just inside the left hash. Trennan set left. Scott and Reed to the right. Wayne Holmes tight right. Play fake by Drew to J.U. Rolls right, throws right. To Dwayne Holmes, and Big Donna rumbles down the right sideline, and he is to the 45 and out of bounds on the near right sideline, just inside the 45-yard line of Michigan with a first down. Terry Reed and Jeremy Scott set wide side left, trending to the right on first down at the 45 of Michigan. Drew Stanton with a middle screen to Holmes. This time, Dwayne makes the grab, and this time, Dwayne fights it inside the 40. He is to the 37-yard line of Michigan. David Harris on the stop for the Wolverines, but he paid big time. Drew under center, hands to J.U. Colcrick. J.U. to the 35, now the 34-yard line of Michigan. And it appears that he has just enough for a first down. Big call for the Spartans, Devin Thomas, Jeremy Scott, and Terry Love set left. T.J. Williams, the speedster to the right. Drew with J.U. to his left in the shotgun, rolls left, throws, falling down, grab made. No, they're going to say no catch, a trap by Devin Thomas at the 24-yard line. And it's fourth down for the Spartans. They have it at the 34 of Michigan. Just under 13 minutes to go. 31-7 Michigan here in Ann Arbor. Cook over the football, the shotgun snap to Drew. Drew rolls to his right, has time to wind up and throw into a crowd. It is intercepted down at the two by Jamar Adams who is in double coverage down there on T.J. Williams, along with the middle linebacker, Dave Harris, and Adams made a diving interception at the three. In high school, that was my thing, and uh, that was my first one here, so I'm, you know, real, I'm happy right now, but uh, just, just try to do what my coach told me to do. Anytime you have a mobile quarterback, it puts more pressure on you because you have to uh, stay on your rec receiver and uh, stay in coverage. Zoltan standing. Near the end line, gets the snap from Turner Booth. One step, kicks it away. Hangs it high toward the far side, grabbed by Love at the 44, flags down. Love runs it back up the sideline, room inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line. Did their special teams make another mistake on this? Well, that's apparently going to be the call. So he'll get to kick it again now. Instead of having the ball at the 27, let's see where they wind up. Mesco standing in the end zone, line of scrimmage to the nine, moves forward, puts a foot to it. Oh, did he hammer this one? Look at this, Love goes back, back, makes a grab over his shoulder at the 30, 
turns back the other way, 35, up to the 40, 45, and he is spinning through a tackle, and Darnell Hood brings him down at the 49. What a kick that was. First and 10, Spartans at their 49. 10 minutes left, Michigan leads it 31 to seven. Four wideouts for Drew, J.U. Kulkrick to his left in the shotgun. The snap from Cook. Drew pump fakes, unloads it short for Terry Love. Left sideline, 40, now 35. Cuts back to his right at the 30, now the 25. Trying to tightrope the sidelines. He's all the way down to the 13-yard line of Michigan. Drew takes the shotgun snap. Has a little time and hit as he throws, but he's complete anyway to Matt Trannon at the 10. Matt to the five and roll down right there. Oh, man. He grabbed his left ankle as he was tackled down there. And that's, you just hate to see that. Drew waiting for the shotgun snap. It goes straight up the gut to the goal line to the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. The Spartans celebrate, but the officials have not ruled a touchdown. They say he's down at the one. First and goal, Spartans inside the one, though. Drew under center with J.U. behind him. Hands to Kulkrick. Off right guard to the goal line. Twisting and turning, trying to fight his way to pay dirt. Michigan stands them up. And as they sort out bodies, the Spartans are signaling touchdown. The officials are saying second down. Inches short of the goal line. Here come the Spartans out of the huddle. Ryan Allison wide right. Cerrone and Holmes tight left. Sackrider tight right. Drew under center with J.U. behind him. Hands to Kulkrick. J.U. stopped as he tries left tackle. Thrown back toward the middle and he's down at the two. Prescott Burgess on the tackle for Michigan. It's, it's hard when you're going up against a good football team like that because we want to establish a run. And everybody knows that they were averaging 20 some yards per game. And uh, you know they're great at a rush defense because they get after you and they've got some real good linebackers. And then obviously that front four, um, you know, is hard to contain. But it, you know, at the same time, it's kind of tough um, with some of the injuries that we've had and, and trying to pair those guys together. And you know, we know I know they're go those guys up front are doing everything they can to protect me and protect our running backs. It's third and goal from there. He's back in the shotgun with J.U. Third and goal at the two. Play fakes to J.U. Rolls to his right. Dives to the end zone. And they will finally, here in Ann Arbor, rule touchdown. Touchdown, MSU. And now the Spartans will go for two. Here's the snap. Drew in a crowd, and he'll have to take the hit and go down. They do not convert, and the score remains. Michigan 31, the Spartans 13. He was a good thrower. He, he ran when he had to, and I, I couldn't tell that he was at bruised ribs or anything, so he, he played his game. Second down, one for the Spartans, just shy of their 30. Drew under center with J.U. behind him. Winds up, guns it right side. And it is intercepted on a diving effort by Leon Hall, who dove in front of Jeremy Scott to pick it off. That's a, a good football team, you know, as there is in the nation probably, and they got a lot of momentum and, and playing in front of this crowd and stuff like that, and they feed off of that. Yeah, what a game the Wolverines have played today. Michigan winning at 31 to 13 in the backyard brawl. Oh, that's a good game for them. <laughs> Lamar Woodley and uh, Jake Long and Rondell Biggs and Brian Thompson. I mean, those are those are special guys and. Uh, there's a lot of other guys been here four or five years, and when you can win this game, it means a lot. One, two, you know what to do. Hail to the victors, Diane. Hail to the country here of Pat, Pat, to Michigan, the leaders in bats. Hail to the victors, Diane. Hail to the country here of Pat, Pat, to Michigan, the champions of the world. Well, we were balanced. I mean, we ran the ball well, and also when they gave us opportunities to throw the ball, we threw the ball. So in both phases of the game, we executed well. You have to give Michigan a ton of credit. They're an awful good football team. They're big and they're physical, and uh, they're very 
uh, disciplined in what they do and uh, you know all that talent uh, they just come push you off the ball a little bit <laughs> and give it to that running back and he's he keeps pounding you and pounding you and then they'll They'll throw a couple down the field on you, and boy, I tell you what, they, they got a couple guys that can fly down the field, so they they keep things simple enough, and they kind of just run it and play action you when they need to, and um, it's a, it was a battle. It was a team uh, win, and one that uh, means a lot to us because this rivalry uh, is awfully special. I think we did some good things offensively, but uh, you know we hurt ourselves with some penalties, and and uh, didn't really make as many plays as we would have liked to. So, it, you know, I think uh, when you go up against teams like that, you know, no matter how hard you prepare, you have to be able to show up and play on Saturdays. And, uh, you know, they were just a better football team. We just didn't make the plays, you know, to be the team of Michigan caliber. We want to get to the number six team in the country. You got to play a nearly perfect game. You know, make every play that comes your way. You got a few bad bounces on the tip. The tip has, you know, a couple, you know, rough in the kicker. That's, those were kind of questionable, but you know, we can't we can't get get too disappointed because you know we got six games left. We can easily turn this thing around. It's always it mean a, a whole lot to me and the team. You know, this is my last year, and um, I haven't lost to them since I've been here. Uh, and the team, you know, it, it's a victory. You know, and uh, you always got to be happy when you get a victory, especially a, against a, a rival like this one we had today. I think it's frustrating, but you know, I never beat them. Can't do anything about it now. So. You know, I'm not going to live in the past. You know, I would have liked to beat them, but, uh, it, you know, I didn't. And so, you know, you move on, and uh, we got to get ready to play Ohio State now. It feels great, and uh, especially I'm 4-0 and against them, so, you know, it just feels really great, and, uh, you know, we just got to keep it up and keep working hard. The toughest aspect is probably just that we lost. I mean, uh, senior now, been here for five years, and, you know, haven't been able to beat them. It's definitely nice. You know, uh, I got a close friend on there. I know a few guys on there from Michigan State. So I always had them bragging rights. You know, uh, years down the line, they could never say that they, they beat Michigan while he was there. What's the toughest part of this loss tonight? Um, just, I mean, I don't know. A lot, the loss in general, I guess. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a big game. You know, um, it was one of the games that we needed to bounce back on. And, you know, it's hard to swallow, but you just got to. Just got to take it and get ready for it, man. We got a big game next week, too. It's a great feeling, 5-0 um, against them, man. When I, uh, when I was getting recruited, Coach Malone told me, uh, whatever you do, don't lose to Michigan State. And he's not here no more, but I, th I still remember that. Now, I don't know what it is, but, you know, I, I get up for this kind of game. And I love playing this team. You know, they're always a great team, and uh, just exciting to play them every year.